you could just, uh, just introduce yourself and say uh, that you're okay being filmed. My name is Jelaine. I'm okay being filmed. Okay. So uh, what I'd like to know is um, when it comes to dating and relationships, uh, well, first off, like, what's the best compliment you've ever received? Uh, best compliment I have ever received? You're beautiful. That? You're beautiful. Beautiful, okay. Do you think that a, uh, a compliment has more meaning to you? If it, is it okay if we scoot over a little bit? It's a little noisy. Yeah. Oh, this way, this way, actually. So I just, the background noise is going to make it hard. No problem. All. Okay. Okay. Because I can't even hear myself ask you the question, so. Okay. Um, do you think that a compliment has a little bit more meaning to you if it's something beyond just your looks? Absolutely. Absolutely. So, um, would you say, like, a better compliment might be something that's, that's not, you know, the baby? Well, yes. I mean, I was a married woman, so when you, whenever, you know, you're waking up and your husband's like, you just look beautiful, that's just a great compliment in the morning. But, I mean, being told that I have an amazing mind, uh -huh. okay. I, that is something, like, you're so smart, you have an amazing mind. How did you even think about that? Like, I love that. What do you find most attractive in a man, and how has that changed throughout your lifetime? What I find most attractive in a man is, I would say, confidence. Um, I would say that it's it, the change is, is either good or bad. Like, as I've gotten older, I think that uh, the confidence in men have lowered. <laughs> They are, um, or more, I would say, they probably made them shallow so that their confidence sucks now. So what, what would you say is the difference between confidence and arrogance? Confidence and arrogance. Like, arrogance, you're just full of your ego, like, head up your ass. Like, just um, demanding. Somebody that's very selfish and into themselves. And I don't know, I would say confidence is something like you know you have character about yourself and, and moral standards and you you're a person of your word do you think that the most confident men have ultimately met your expectations yes the confident men that i have met they were very yeah i would definitely what are the what are the signs uh the characteristics of a man who's confident like what are the signs how will you know if a man displays confidence? Um, I would say just someone that's not like a part of the group. Um, somebody that's not doing something because everyone else is doing it. He's confident enough to stand on his own and say, you know what, that's not me or I don't like that. I won't act like that or behave like that. Uh, which is very big today, I think, because so many people go with what everyone else is doing. I think the, the guys that kind of stand alone and are, are not following the group and the norms of the norms of what you know society sets that's interesting can you can you be a little more can you elaborate a little more like what are some of the things that you would, like would, 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 would spark your interest as far as somebody who is not doing what what's trendy um let's see so like um big flashy guys i would say are are what's in right now, guys with uh, like the jewelry or um, even just having like a certain amount of tattoos is like, I gotta have stuff like all on my neck. I, these are honestly things that I've heard <laughs> like uh, cause I ask, honestly ask questions as well. Um, but um, is uh, just the way they dress, the way they act, um, even to down to what they consider good music. <laughs> I say what, I, what, I, what I think is interesting is I ask women, I say, do you think that if women one day found pirates sexy, do you think men would start wearing eye patches and peg legs? I mean, uh, yeah. You know, what I'm saying is, is okay. no, yeah. So, so tell me if this is a fair, a fair assumption. Do you think that, or, 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 or a fair question? Do you think women are more likely to seek the approval of men, or are men more likely to seek the approval of women? Mm. I would say that goes to the confidence level of the person. Because, okay. uh, the because the only, the only uh, reason I would tell me if this is fair or not. The only yeah. reason I would assume that maybe it's men more likely to seek the approval of women.
women. If you look at nightclubs, for example, mm -hmm. who are the ones spending all the money at nightclubs? Women typically get in for free. Guys are paying to get in and buying the tables and the bottle service because they're trying to seek the approval of women. So all I'm wondering is, do you think that maybe women have a little... Uh, a I don't think it's the approval of women these days. So, okay, how would you describe it? I think these days that uh, when you're b doing the bottle service and you're going all flashy and you got the the fancy car it's it's not just for the women it's for everybody like I have to show everybody men women even gay straight like if you're a straight man you're still doing it for the other men like that's I think is kind of kind of, kind of the same way that a lot of women dress yeah attractive for other women for other women I, I want the ladies to know just as much as I want the men to know that I'm stepping out and I look good I understand okay so that's yeah because like I said, there's a lot of misconceptions and a lot of things that I'm just trying to find out if there's any truth or not. Um, oh, yeah. Let's just I'm probably one of your more difficult people. I'm not going to be like straight answers. No, no, I definitely, I, I think you are a little more open-minded. Obviously, you know, you gave me some, some surprising answers, and I think that's a great thing. Um, let's see, what's, what's one more? Oh, I see one more, let me think. Uh, uh, did, I, did I ask you this one? What's, uh, what's the most surprising thing that you've learned about men your experiences one of the most surprising things that I've learned about men in my experience is hello sir how are you oh thank you see is um, honestly is for all the stereotypes that are put on men or all of the expectations that are put on men to be masculine and manly then men are really sensitive and really sweet and really like big teddy bears most of them like the the bigger they are like let them get a cold and they are the biggest babies and I love that I think that it's that's sweet I think that's probably one of my biggest surprises was like some of the biggest men or some of the some of the friendliest the, the artsiest the, the the ones that love the classical music and they're like covered in tattoos and on a motorbike you know like I like it I think that's really I think that's one of the one of the best things the sensitivity